Today's tip is to get cooking confidently. I've talked in past episodes about the health benefits of ensuring that more of your meals are home cooked. Meals cooked at home are more often lower in calories compared to that of restaurant food. In addition, they also tend to have more fiber and vegetables and often have fewer carbohydrates, less sodium, sugar, and unhealthy fats. Cooking meals at home increases your chances of reaching your health goals, no matter if those are to lose weight, improve heart health, or keep your blood sugar in check. Now, some of us are more comfortable in the kitchen than others. If you're a seasoned cook, you've likely learned a few tips and tricks that have made your life a lot easier. The rest of us may find ourselves scraping by with basic knowledge or even worse, just stumbling through blindly. A little knowledge in the kitchen goes a long way. Today's episode will give you a few basic tips and tricks that will hopefully turn the most skittish chef into a confident cook capable of making quick, healthy, and delicious dishes. Even if you do know your way around the kitchen, you may still learn something new here, so keep listening. Let's start with reading the recipe. I have learned the hard way that it's best to read the entire recipe before you get started. Make sure you have all of the ingredients and that you actually like all of the ingredients. If you find something you don't like or that doesn't fit with your healthy lifestyle, it's best to do a little research ahead of time to find an appropriate substitute that won't affect the end result. The internet is full of lists of recipe substitutes. Next, look at the recipe yield and decide if the number of servings is what you actually need. If not, consider whether you should cut the ingredient amounts in half or double them. Then check whether you can or need to make any part of the recipe ahead of time and find out if you need to preheat the oven. Oh, and one last thing. When reading the recipe, understand the difference between chopped herbs and herbs chopped. If a recipe calls for a quarter cup of chopped herbs or really any other ingredient, it means you chop the herbs, then measure out a quarter cup. If it calls for a quarter cup of herbs chopped, you measure out the herb whole and then chop it. The difference between the yielded ingredients can have a big impact on the taste of your finished product. Now this may seem obvious to you, but I clued into this just recently. So if you're anything like me, you might want to rewind and listen to that tip again. Anyway, moving on to a few cooking tips. If you're pan frying, make sure you start with a well heated skillet before adding your meat. A drop of water should sizzle when it touches the surface. Cooking with a pan overheat that's too low can cause the meat to sort of steam, which loses the delicious taste that comes from the browned coating. And speaking of steam, since water and heat make steam, if you try to cook something that's still a little wet, it won't brown properly and you'll end up with less flavor when you're done. Pat the meat with paper towels before you toss it into the pan and do the same to veggies and chickpeas before they go onto a sheet pan for roasting. Next, season your food as you go and sprinkle herbs and salt from high up over the pan or pot. This ensures a more even distribution so you don't end up with all the flavor concentrated in one spot. And it does make you look a little more professional, kind of like those TV chefs. Next, set your timer for a few minutes less than the called for time on the recipe. All ovens heat differently, so you may not know how yours will handle a new recipe. It's easy to add time to an undercooked meal, but you can't really do much once it's overcooked. And there you go. Hopefully you learned a little something new. You don't need to be a master chef to make healthy homemade meals. Your food doesn't need to be complicated or turn out Instagram worthy to be delicious and satisfied. Just have a little fun in the kitchen. 
Hopefully, a few of these tips will help you feel a little more comfortable to get you in your kitchen and whip up a fabulous feast. Willpower not required. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you, so send me your tips, questions, or feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Fired Up Fitness Coaching or email me at willpower not required at firedupfitness.ca. Thanks so much. I look forward to connecting with you.